Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for our very first episode of That Hope Show. Yeah. We are so excited. Yay. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. We got guests in the house. Thank we got you. episodes for you for a full season, and this is going to be great. Yeah. So, hey, I'm Jarrell, and this is my co-host and sister, Jenny. Hey, I'm Jenny. Yeah. How you doing, Jarrell? I'm absolutely doing well. Good. Thank you once again yeah. for you all joining us today. Very first episode. How you feeling? Like it's the very first episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we are nervous, y'all. We've been doing yeah, this together for a while, but we are nervous. And more importantly, we're just really, really we excited. Are excited. That's what yeah. this is all about. Yeah. So, okay. okay. So, you know, we are bringing you a, a show, that hope show, obviously, mm -hmm. to inspire hope. And we want to just give you a little bit of a backstory. Yeah. All right? Is that cool? I love it. So, Jarrell and I have been working together for at least over a decade yeah, at this yeah, point. Yeah. We met at our local church, Eagles yeah. Nest Worship Center. That's it. And he and his wife and myself and my husband, we worked on a ministry together and yeah. we led that. Do you remember yeah. that? That was when we were about 20 years old. We were mm. about. Mm -hmm. and now we're 25. Mm -hmm. Wait, those numbers got wrong, but. <laughs> general. Yeah. Yeah. Now we continued our work together mm -hmm. because the pandemic, it happened to every single one of us, yeah. right? And to continue to stay connected with our people, we started a, a small morning broadcast or journalism yeah. just to keep people in tune. It was called that, or excuse me, it was called Pre-Funk. Pre-Funk, yeah. yeah. A 20 minute engagement mm -hmm. to just really continue to love on our people, stay connected to our people, keep them up to date yeah. with the things that were going on. That we, was so cool. We had a lot of memories with that. We had so much fun doing yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre-Funk. And um, I'm looking forward to this next chapter. Okay. And we're bringing you That Hope Show. Yeah. Um, and it's meant to engage with you and to interview some fun guests and yep. get to know you. Yep, and not only will you be seeing us in the studio here, but we'll be doing things on the outside outside of the studio too, to continue to pad what we do and bring you some great inspiration and some great journalism. And so uh, we know that there are a lot of things going on in this world yeah. today that would be considered hard, harsh, uh, heavy, mm -hmm. and we want to bring you something that is going to be light, lighthearted, yeah. obviously, uh, high-spirited and inspirational, something that is going to feed and encourage your life, um, you know, throughout each episode. Yeah. And so that's what brings us to that hope show. That hope show. Yeah. You know, when we first joined forces, we were all about spreading hope. And so this is just a new way to do that. Yeah, I think Jenny's a hope dealer. <laughs> you can't get arrested for that. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right. And each episode, for the most part, we'll have different guests. We'll have games and other nuances mm -hmm. that are going to keep you entertained. Uh, we have a phenomenal guest in the we building do. today. Yeah. Absolutely one of our favorite people, people in, the world. in the whole wide yeah. world. Yeah, and I haven't even seen the whole wide world yet. That's how great this person <laughs> is. So, yeah. I can't yeah. think of a better way to kick off nope. that Hope Show nope. than with this special person. Yep. He's been supportive. He's yeah. been absolutely wonderful, been in ministry for several years. We're not going to steal his thunder. Yeah. We're going to allow you we'll to, we're gonna allow you to yeah. hear from him uh, yourself. <laughs> and so with that being said, can we bring out our guest? I think we should. All right. Are you can you ready? all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm ready. I was going to say, can you put you your ready? hands together? Yeah. But right there on your couch, <laughs> wherever you're at, on your phone, put your hands together and make some noise for Bishop James Hart. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, hello, hey. you just magically appeared. Yeah, there and, you go. Uh, <laughs> How you doing? It's like he's just showing up in the yeah, room come with all of us. Yeah. Did he just walk through the wall? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're so glad to have you here today. Yeah. Thank you so much, It's Bishop. so good to be here. Thanks for having me, and yeah. uh, especially on the first show. So yeah. I, I, that's always exciting because only you can only be first once. Yeah, so. come on, come on. Yeah. And he got it. Yeah. That's right. He nailed it. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, and congratulations recently on your commission as bishop. Oh, yeah. we that's, think that's incredible. It's an honor. Yeah. Uh, I mean, everybody says, "What's it like?" I said, "Just more responsibility." <laughs> yeah, that's what like it that, is. But it is a great honor. I wasn't yeah. looking for it, yeah. and uh, so and the ceremony was incredible. I had all these mm -hmm. young ministers and you and others yeah. that came from all across the U.S. Yeah. and even oh, from all the way from uh, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Uh, yeah. just to, to be a part of the service. And it was humbling yeah. and mm -hmm. it was incredible. And man, it's it's just awesome to be to do what God's called you to do. Yeah. That's about the best part of it. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. it, man. That's it. How long have you been at the Nest? Me? Yeah. Personally? Eagles Nest. Um, eighteen. Over 18 years. Come on. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a long time. Yeah. What about yeah, yeah, you guys? Yeah. You guys? 13 years. 13. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, just so I got five on it. Come yeah. on. That's it. That's it. I know. I heard a song once. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Different connotation, yeah. though. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. 
<laughs> and we're so welcome to have you again. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I mean that, yeah. we mean that from the bottom of our heart. You're yeah. so supportive. At your commissioning service, it was just a reminder mm -hmm. of the people that you've helped inspire, raise up, have their backing. Mm -hmm. I think of when mm -hmm. we became members to the church and of, of the church and uh, you were just saying like this church has your back. Yes. You know, and I, I can yeah. attest that both of us have sensed that we with our families, have, individually, yeah, et cetera. Yeah. So thank you for your leadership. Mm -hmm. well, and uh, That's always an honor and a privilege. And I think part of any leadership or ministry should be launching others into the, what God's yeah, called them to on. do. And that was yeah. part yeah. of when God gave us the name Eagle's Nest. And you'll think mm -hmm. about the analogies, all of that is you create this this nest place yeah. uh, that's comfortable and you Come on. Uh, you create this place where people, they can grow yep. and then eventually you to kick them out of the nest <laughs> and but you're there to support them yeah. to catch them as they're falling till they learn to fly on yeah. their own and uh, uh, I've often asked God God can I change the name of the church because I, I'd like some people to stay yeah. you know, as yeah. I, I raise up yeah. all these young yeah. ministers yeah. and then we launch them out oh. and wow. uh, and, and but what that's the incredible thing and people say well doesn't that scare you I know it doesn't at all because their success is our success. That's yeah, right. That's Eagle's right. Nest is when you launch these other churches, young ministers, uh, wherever they are, overseas yeah. or here in the States, yeah. is that their success is great, yeah. is, is your success. Mm. Yeah. And your heart's desire is that they be more, see more, do more, have more mm. than what you've ever had. That's right. Because that's, that's really what it's all about. Come and on. so, uh, man, it's just neat to see them flourishing, mm -hmm. see them doing what you guys are doing now, mm -hmm. and, and see what God is doing through them and for them is you just sit back and you just you're you're grateful and you're thankful that you got to play a, a little part in what God was doing. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I've heard you say mm -hmm. for the 13 years I've been yeah. there. But this is not just a 13 year or 18 year thing. This no. has been going on for 30 30 plus years. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Come We've been on. pastoring Eagles that. Nest when we launched Eagles Nest 30 years ago, which Come on. seems amazing like yeah. that. Yeah. And you've seen so much uh, even ups and downs, yeah. uh, people come and people go, yeah. Yeah. but you always remember this, that they're not yours. That's they belong right. to the Lord. Come on. Uh, I'm just a yeah. shepherd. That's I, good relationship I, advice. It is. Right there. <laughs> yeah. it is. People say, well, don't yeah. you get hurt when people leave? I go, no, they're not mine. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. a steward of what God's put in my mm. hands and uh, I'm to steward as best as I can. That's right. And knowing that there will be some that will stay for 18 years, 13 years, and there will yeah. be some that say maybe five years yeah. or, yeah. or two years, yeah. however that is. But you just know that you play the part that God's given you That's right. to sow into them, to feed them, to nourish them so that they flourish and they prosper. That's right. And uh, whatever God has for them, mm -hmm. that's what you want to have happen mm -hmm. for them. That's right. And, 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 and sometimes it's hard when you see someone that's being supported, like talk about you guys or even Pastor Brian and Pastor Jill and they're now yep. in Kansas City mm -hmm. or, or Pastor uh, Todd and Dwayne that are in, in, in San Jose now yeah. Yeah. and wow. others in, in yeah. South America yeah. and others yeah. in, in Africa and others in Brazil yeah. and others in, in uh, Cuba and Mexico that it's hard to see them leave because you've you, you've seen what God's done in right. them, but you right. know you just have to let them go. Yeah. Just that's as the it. eagles, okay, it's time yeah. for you to fly, yeah, that's so I've got to let you go. That's yeah. And knowing that they've always been in God's hands, and when they leave, mm -hmm. they're still in God's hands. That's it, man. Yeah. Don't let me go. Back. Like, if you see me <laughs> ever, go, man, you better get your tail back up in here. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> no, it's, so it's yeah. exciting. And in 30 yeah. years, yeah. we've seen a lot. That's right. And, yeah. and you've been through the COVID era and yeah. things like that. And God sustained you because how do you do this for 30 years? Well, mm. you, you better keep Christ in the focus. You better keep him first. Yeah. That's right. And you always have that joy, even yeah. in the midst of heartache and pain. And we've yeah. all been through yeah. that, yeah. Yeah. that you still have a joy that only God can bring to you. Come on, you're that, talking, that keeps man. You going, yeah. and keeps yeah. you going. And the hope, that's yeah. it's all that's about. It is that there's always a brighter day. Yeah. I can't remember the guy that sings it, but he's blind that sings that song. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Things are gonna get Bless better. The, the, yes, yeah. yes. And, and that's the whole thing, because when I found out, man, the guy singing this is actually blind. Yeah. Yeah. And he's singing about there's a better day, there's yeah. always hope, there's always a brighter yeah. day. Yeah. And seeing it. And seeing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you understand the scripture says, don't get tired when you're doing good. Yeah. Because when God has a due time, a due yeah. season, you, you will reap, you yeah. will reap. Yeah. And the only way you can miss, miss the reaping time is if you give up. 
up. That's it. And so you just have to set in your heart that yeah. no matter what, I'm not giving up. Yeah, yeah. I always say there's five seasons, summer, spring, fall, and due season. Due season, yeah. yeah. And Girl Scout cookies. Season. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that always comes. <laughs> yeah. But due season, yeah, yeah. man. That's it right. is, that's because right. God's got those seasons. He created them, mm. and if he mm -hmm. created them, he created them for a purpose. Yeah. And when you understand that season, that whatever you're in, that God has a purpose for that season, mm -hmm. that's right. that you learn from that, grow from that, mm -hmm. and then the due season comes, and boy, you get to rejoice. Yeah. But I think also you rejoice in no matter what season you're in, that's right. even Absolutely. in the heartache and the yeah. heartbreak, yeah. Yeah. knowing that there's another day coming. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That, that, you know, the old, the old saying, the old song was, Friday may be here, but Sunday's on its way. Yeah. You know, like that. Come on. So, right. come on. so no matter what yeah. you're going through, there's there's a day that's coming in. So you rejoice in that yeah. even before you get there. That's yeah. right. And if you can learn that, that key there yeah. is rejoicing even before you have that's it. That's a practice mm -hmm. right there. It is that a practice. You've got to get into that until it becomes part of you. That's yeah. so yeah. good. Because I can think of us and others all have gone through tremendously hard times mm -hmm. in sure. one way or another. But it's 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 what you practice and prepare for, knowing that any of the anything could come, anything yeah. can be present at any day. Right. We yeah. don't want it. We don't. We're not saying we're no. welcoming. We're just no. saying that we're preparing our hearts to endure it if yeah. and when it mm -hmm. comes. It you is. know. Yeah. 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 You know. It, it is. So without a test, it can't be a testimony. Without yeah. a battle, it can't be a victory. <laughs> Go ahead. I wish. Yeah. I wish there could be a testimony yeah. without a test. Yeah. 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 We all do. That's called yeah. social media. Yeah. Because yeah. Of, <laughs> because <laughs> of what you know because of what you said yeah. is yeah. it's not that we want that. It's not that no. we're looking for. It. Storms yeah. just come. That's right. Uh, that's part of life. Yeah. Battles yeah. come. That's part of life. Yeah. And if we can understand that then we can understand that when I get there, mm. there there's an exit point. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's a, uh, a duration, there's an ex yeah. expiration, expiration date yeah. stamped on any battle, any struggle. That's right. The, the old saying is I'm only passing through. Troubles only come to pass. That's right. Yeah. Troubles only come to pass. Mm. And so uh, we see that, and it's not immune. Jesus wasn't immune to it. Yeah. All the no. great uh, prophets, yeah. apostles, all, whatever yeah. you want to call them, sure. they were not, never immune to it. It's just they knew how to make it through it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, and, yeah. and so that's the main thing is you know it's coming. And I talk about eagles, obviously, eagles nest. Is e eagles don't fly away from storms. They fly yeah. into, into the it. storm. That's they it. embrace so the storm. Good. Because yeah. they know the storm is not there to push them down. Mm -hmm. The storm is there to push them mm -hmm. up. Come on, we need yeah, to have yeah, some KPO no, no. church up here. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> because but I think yeah. that's, that brings yeah. hope. It's what you guys are your hope dealers. That's is it. that, hey, the storm will come, yeah. but it's not there. Because God doesn't allow it to come to destroy you. That's right. It's there to lift, literally lift you to another plane, yeah. another that's level, right. however you want to right. express that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that when the storm is done, man, you're soaring. That's right. You've yeah. soared above yeah, it. As you soared through it, it soared you up. Up to a place where you've soared above yeah, it. Yeah, that's kind of the that's the that's the philosophy here is that hope is about getting better. It's yeah. the expectation that no matter what comes, we're gonna get better. Yeah, better and well. you know, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And our community are built up of people that we hope with. Yes, we want to hold you to getting better, you to mm -hmm. getting better, yeah. me to getting better. But we go through some things. Yeah, you know, stresses and successes, highs yes. and lows. And but it's something about when you look back over that storm, you go, whoa. Wow. Wow. We did that. Yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. made it through that. Yeah. Whoa. And, I yeah. did, and part of that is the testimony. Yeah. yeah. Is that when g people hear your story, because you're going to have so many people on here that have a story. Yeah. Everybody yeah. has a story. That's yeah. right. Is that there are people going through the same thing or some similar to that. Yeah. That they'll say, wow, if God did that for them, then God can do that for me. That's if right. God brought them through it. Then that's God right. can bring it through me. So that's wow. the hope dealers yeah. is that every individual you have on here that's going to have a story of hope. That's right. That God brought them through. Mm -hmm. That's right. And yeah, do we look back and say, I wish I didn't have to go yeah. through that? Yeah, right. Most definitely. Yeah. 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 But I learned something through it. I gained yeah. something from yeah. it. And now I can share that story with somebody else, a story of hope mm -hmm. that, wow, that inspires me mm. to make it through, not to mm. give up, not to quit, mm. to keep pressing through because Every storm, again, has an expiration date stamped yeah. on it, oh, and wow. I'm going to make it through it. All right, well, look, That's ladies, I know, are you feeling that right wow. now? Come on, that home yeah. show, let's yeah. go. <laughs> hey, we're going to get ready to go to a commercial break, but just know yeah. this is every episode, yeah. whether it's through entertainment or in a forms of encouragement, all forms of encouragement, whether it's through entertainment or whether it's through interviews. teaching or interviews, yeah. like that's what we want to offer you. I was looking at the wrong camera, so, by the way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is great. This is great. We're going to get ready to go to a commercial, but yeah. each episode we also want to talk about a corporate sponsor. Mm -hmm. So we have a corporate sponsor uh, that we're going to be talking about that we want to mention right now before we go to break, and then yeah. we're going to come back with a little fun. But Body Candy Boutique.
Boutique. Talk to us a little bit about yeah, it. Yeah, so Body Candy Fashion Boutique um, is name. a delight. And you <laughs> yeah. can't see it at the moment, but today. Yeah, show it, girl. Show it. Come on. Yeah. They've come sponsored on, these on. adorable shoes. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, and so our, our mission at Body Candy is just to provide affordable and fashionable clothing for women who want to make fashion easy. That's right. And not only that, but fellas, you want to see your women in that fashion too. You Come do. On, That's right. <laughs> I did yeah. that. So you can say, I did that. <laughs> All right, we're going to be back with yeah. a little bit of fun right after this commercial break. Check out this commercial. Looking fabulous has never been so effortless. Welcome to Body Candy Fashion Boutique, your online destination for clothing, footwear, and accessories everything you need to create show-stopping looks. Transform your style with our curated collection of one-piece outfits designed to make you feel confident, chic, and ready to take on the world. Indulge yourself with our stunning collection of trendy, fashion-forward styles that flatter any body type. Complete your stunning look with our fabulous selection of footwear, chic sunglasses, and eye-catching jewelry, making every outfit unforgettable. Dress to impress without the stress when you conquer the art of online shopping. With Body Candy Fashion Boutique, you can revamp your wardrobe without emptying your wallet. Our fashion forward clothing is not only stunning, but also budget friendly. Visit Body Candy Fashion Boutique today and explore a world of stunning and affordable fashion. Don't miss out, shop now. I'm Alicia Hart. And I'm Jim Hart. And we're the pastors of Eagle's Nest Worship Center. We're here because we love our city. We love people. We want to reach them for the cause of Christ. We want them to come into a living relationship with the living Savior. We don't want anybody to feel like, you know what, I've got to have it all together before they get here. Mm -hmm. We just want you to come, and we just really believe that once you get here, you'll learn more about the things of God and, and what God says concerning you and concerning your life, concerning your purpose and destiny. And as you grow and mature in the things of God, things will just begin to shift. Again, a bunch of imperfect people that serve a perfect God. They come together to worship Him, to grow in Him, and to connect with one another. Another. So why don't you just step on by and get connected and just enjoy the service, enjoy the presence of the Lord and uh, know that he's there for you, loves you. And I promise you, uh, he's going to touch your heart in a very, very special way. Welcome back to That Hope Show. We're super excited that you're joining us for episode one. Quick thank you to our corporate sponsors. Up now, we're gonna jump into a really fun game. Yay. We want you to get to know us, Jenny and Jarrell, just a little bit better. So we're yeah. gonna do it game show style. Yeah, let's do And it. we have one contestant today. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go. Let's it go. is Bishop Hart's job <laughs> to determine, we're gonna ask him a question and he has to see who yeah. who it's true for? Is that yeah. Jenny? Yeah. Or is that Jarrell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He ready? wins no matter what. Yeah. He has no one to lose to. We're ready. <laughs> yeah. We have yeah. a wonderful prize yeah. for you. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. All right. So first question uh, for Jenny or Jarrell is I'll let you cue that one up. First. Okay. Um, our favorite dish, like eating. What yeah. do we like to eat? Yeah. A pasta. B nachos. Who's the nacho Who's lover? Who's the pizza? pasta lover? Pasta. Dun, dun, dun. I will say. Dun, I feel like you're gonna know dun, this. Dun, dun, dun. Jenny is. I'll probably get it wrong. Jenny is nachos and your pasta. Mm. You backwards. Did get it wrong. <laughs> I did it wrong. It's the opposite. Well, I turned. No, that's think, okay. That's you okay. Know, I, I okay, probably should have okay. said that because yeah. I know you work out all the time. Yeah. Not that you don't. Yeah. You work out too. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna uh, go. Uh, <laughs> Nacho, because you got well, you both have so many kids too. Oh, I was man, just like, yeah. okay, yeah. Both you both have nachos. so many kids. Yeah, we're, that's great. We're less adult eaters and more. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm eat. a layered. I like layers of food. So yeah. salad, nachos, lasagna. lasagna. Come on. <laughs> See there. I yeah. the pasta. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 oh, oh, man. That you, got a favorite, you got a favorite dish? Do I have a favorite yeah, dish? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. boy, that's uh, man, that's tough. Uh, Mexican food. Yeah, yeah. Come on, all things, okay. right? Yeah. All things. All things. I dig it. Okay, next question. What is our favorite genre of music? Choose who this will oh, fit. Goodness. Is it action 
or is it mystery? Jenny Durrell. And just to clarify, music. this yeah. is yeah. movies. Yeah, movies. Oh, movie music. Did I say that? Did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> music. music. My bad. My bad. Okay. Okay. Mo okay. Music. What's our movie, favorite? Movie, movie. I'll say. What was it again? Action, action and mystery. mystery. Jenny's mystery and your action. Ooh, nailed it. Yeah, come yeah. on. All right, man. Yeah. Come on. Sure, one out of two. Guess, yeah. Hey, uh, you're <laughs> winning already. Come on. Come on. Excellent. Do you have a favorite genre of movies? Mm. Oh, I like action movies too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I've watched some that makes me have to go repent after I watch them. Yeah. <laughs> Recently, we just watched uh, the new Spider Verse movie. Oh, how was that? Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. The kids yeah. went, but I didn't go. So yeah, yeah, yeah. By they the didn't. time this airs, I'm probably have watched it five times. Wow. He's not <laughs> kidding. He's yeah. Correct, yeah. I love movies. All right. Okay. <laughs> of course, I get this question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, which one of us would be more tempted to do this thing if we like get cut off in traffic? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> which one of us would be more likely to flip mm. someone off? Okay. Mm. We're we talking. We're talking church flip off. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 I love you, Jesus. That. <laughs> or cuss someone out. Oh, now we don't do on. these things. Right. Just more tempted to. Just which more <laughs> temptation? Yeah. 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 Okay. If I did it, I wouldn't admit it though. Who would? Who would do it? More, who's yeah, more tempted to yeah. do it? Who would flip someone off bird? and who would who's use some yeah, words? Yeah. Mm, some words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's dun, a tough dun, one. Dun. Uh, <laughs> I'll go. I'll go with Jarrell. On which one? Which oh, one? oh, oh there's two. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're both guilty. Yes. Both guilty. Yeah, yeah. Both guilty. Uh, which one would I'll be I'll say our... uh, probably words and flip off yeah oh. <laughs> that's i feel like jarell's animated and he's definitely oh, gonna give man. you the bird oh, and oh, i yeah. i love yeah. jesus i'm a guy i'm a hands guy yeah i might hug you oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. then yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay go ahead okay. so you would be the you'd be, you'd the, be the words yeah mm -hmm. oh come on i mean i don't i don't yeah right i would just that would be my Not tendency that she's gonna admit. yeah right. okay i'll be in the altar on sunday morning <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. All right, so okay, growing up, which one of us do you think had got the most spankings? Uh, I would say Jarrell. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> why, why? Wait a minute. Wait. That should be easy. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's but what makes you think that? I don't know. I just. <laughs> 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 oh man! Come Actually, on. I would I, say that's a trick question because I probably got spankings, yeah, yeah. and you probably got whoopings, beatdowns, yeah. probably, man. Like sometimes twice a day. My mom would tell you I didn't know if this dude was coming or going. Sometimes, like I just had to keep the belt with me. Hey, yeah. funny story. Funny story. Right. Pastor Dwayne at church. Yeah, because you know we talk about. Uh, White people say you get time out. Yeah. And so I mentioned that, that the white families, they, they, they'll give the kids spanking, they, they get a time out. Oh, yeah. And Pastor Dwayne said, no, that's a black thing, Pastor, because yeah. he said, our parents would whoop us so hard, they said, time, like, time out, out while, while, we yeah. take a, while we take a break. And then after we take a break, we come back to the whoopings again. Oh, yeah, wait till your daddy get home. Yeah, we're going to yeah, resume this thing. That's so funny, man. That is that's hilarious. funny. Okay, you got the next one. You're okay. up next. Okay. Mm. Which is our preferred ah. toilet paper roll place? Oh. Which one of us is over right. and which one of us is under? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Sounds like I'll, lyrics to a I'll song. I'll say, Drell's over and you're under. Yeah. Hey, is that right? right? Are you under and over? So, okay, yeah. I grew up under. That yeah. is my preference. I feel yeah. like that is correct. Uh -huh. My husband will tell you over, right. so I've... Well, I've crossed over, but yeah. I, yeah. I think what's your, you have a special. Yeah, you know, I kind of went off the spectrum with this. Mine is like more like on the floor or on the back of the toilet. Yeah, this is an over. You don't need a yeah. That's right. Like, you throw that thing on your finger and just pull it off like that and then set it back down. There's not enough space between us and the sink. You know what I'm saying? And that's more of me. I got like a toilet paper roll and a half. You know, that's finish hilarious. It. So that's kind of where I live. What about you? What kind of guy are you, man? I, I'm over. Because okay. I think under is backwards. Yeah, I don't, yeah know. So, I don't know. But they say if you do the under, you don't use as much because it's harder to. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> Telling people secrets. Hey, when, right, you, yeah. when you're raised on the mission field, you're figuring every which way you can yeah. to not use as much. Oh, man, that's funny. That's two squares. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Two squares. You're going to be itching later. All right, go ahead. All right, what's. What's your favorite go-to cereal? So when we're gonna we're gonna talk about that, but we want to hear yours too. Okay. But what yeah. would what would you think would be our favorite? Do you favorite? eat cereal yeah, faster? Yeah. Yes, but I I love crunchy raisin bran. Oh, 
Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm you lost me on sugar that one. On? No, no. Because <laughs> oh, the, crunch, the crunchy's already sweet. Oh! So it, it's already got a okay. sweet flavor yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But I'd say <laughs> Captain Crunch is awesome. Yeah. Come on, you want us back. You yeah, got us yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> Raise them, okay. okay. So out of the two of us, yeah. who would be a Cinnamon Toast Crunch person? Who would be the Frosted Flakes person? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, Frosted Flakes, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, nailed, 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 nailed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Come That's on, right. come That's on. Right. We were That's having right. a debate when we were doing this, uh, like cereal doesn't taste like the cereal we grew up with. No, yeah. I yeah. can tell when they change their recipe yeah. Yeah. and there is less sugar in it. And yeah, I yeah. swear Frosted Flakes just did that. Yeah, everything's <laughs> going to like all grain. And like, yeah. no, we're not eating, they we're take, not eating And they take the name sugar flakes. off of every, That's right. Basically sugar pops, no, it's just pops. That's right, that's right. We're eating Frosted Flakes, yeah, not fiber base flakes, yeah. we want to frost it for <laughs> sugar, all right? That's Very right. good. Hey, we got a couple that we want you to run, you yeah. okay. tee up for us. It. Here's a question, yeah. okay. If, uh, there's no, you yeah, have to yeah, both yeah. give your uh, answers. Okay. If you could travel any place in the world, all expenses paid, where would you go? Yo, you go first. You go first. I ain't traveled as much as y'all have. I would say, mine's hard to find a country or a state, but it would have to be a scenario that looks like this. Probably some mountains, uh, running water that you can hear, so close enough okay. to hear some running water. Uh, good trees, good bushes, uh, away from the people. Good trees and bushes, bushery, shrinery. Bushes is important. Shrubbery. To you. Okay. Yeah, bushes. Okay. <laughs> bushes. Got it. And uh, uh, probably good weather, a hammock, big glass windows in a house. Hammock. I can see a city a little bit away, so I'm away from the people. Okay. That right okay. there. So like I Hawaii. Like <laughs> there, you go. there you go there you go yeah what about you okay so i would have to go to somewhere i've never been before yeah so i can't describe this place to you but i mm. i, I want to go to somewhere in um asia maybe yeah, like yeah, tokyo yeah. Mm. or mm. hong kong so just something just so different from yeah, yeah. normal yeah. i got you i that's got cool. you that's cool what about you me i uh boy when i went to new zealand love new zealand okay and because you have north Island, South Island, so you have, you can have desert mm. and stuff like that. But then you go to South Island, you have all the bungee jumping, your yeah. water work, yeah. water ride, and and the scenery is just incredible. Yeah. Yeah. it's just incredible. If it wasn't so far, I'd love to go there like every year. Okay. Yeah, so, wow. Like and that. I have never been to New Zealand, but I've been to New Nebraska. Okay, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> depending on where you at, you might have the same. I'm just playing. Hey, uh, hey, we're getting ready to wrap up. Hey, okay. that wraps up our very first episode. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate that. Jenny? Yeah, and we want to thank our corporate sponsors, which today is Body Candy Fashion Boutique. Yeah. And we yeah. want to say a special thank you to Bishop Hart. Oh, Bishop thank Hart. you. It's been an honor. It's been awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We love you. Thank, thank you, you so hope. much. Yeah, that's, that's right, man. Right. Continue to get better out there and continue to keep hope alive. Look, if you love what we do, continue to share it. I mean, share it with us, but also if you're online, social media wise, right. hashtag it at That Hope Show or use the hashtag Jarrell and Jenny. Uh, until we see you again, keep hope alive, continue to get better. We love you and thank you for your support. Bye guys. Peace. Peace.